guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, I thought it would be really, really fun to design a room together. I was looking back on my previous videos and I don't think I ever announced it to you all. I am so sorry, I apologize. I really, really love you. I don't know how I didn't announce it on here, but I was actually doing interior design services. So I offered a full range of different packages. I was working with you all one on one to design the room of your dreams. I'm gonna pick it back up. I'm talking about it in the past tense because I put it on pause because I had an influx of people wanting to work with me, which is amazing, but I got overwhelmed. <laughs> so I had to kind of rethink my process. I'm still in the process of getting the packages kind of reorganized, coming up with some new ones based on feedback. So we're going to bring it back, but I will 100% let you know when. I will not do that to you ever again. You'll be the first to know. So with all of that being said, in today's video, I I thought it'd be fun to walk you through my process and to show you what I do when starting to design a room, whether it be a room in my house, a room for you all, um, a room for like to know it just for fun. And I thought that could be helpful because I get questions all the time. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. I have this space and I'm confused. That's you. I got you. This is definitely going to be the video to help you out, get you on track to design the room of your dreams. So with all of that being said, if you want to see my design, process, how I go about designing a space, a room for either a client or myself, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so I thought it would be helpful if I just screen record my computer. Okay, so for this room design, I think it would be fun to do a living room. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is look at the space, look at the room, and then figure out like, okay, what is the flooring? What would look good? Like try to come up with like a vibe that I think would fit either me or if I'm working with a client they obviously fill out a questionnaire so they're able to tell me what their vibe is so based on that I'll either start on Pinterest and kind of like look up inspiration pictures to fit with what they want or if it's for my own space I kind of already have an idea so I like to start with the biggest piece first and then accessorize from there so when working in the living room obviously the biggest piece is going to be the couch I'm just gonna type in couch I'm just literally gonna type in couches since I've been doing this for so long I feel like Google I don't know if it's like the algorithm or what but they kind of know what I like already so it makes it a lot easier <laughs> but I'm just gonna scroll through I really like this one here from West Elm I feel like this is a cool vibe also really like this black one that's different Ooh, I like that when I'm doing my legitimate designs for clients I go into a website called design files you don't have to do that I just pulled up pick monkey it's a lot cheaper they also have a free version and then I added my couch I removed the background of it so after that I like to go in and try to find the rug because of the element in the couch it has this like walnut not a tray in the middle but like a little what do you call that just like a rest area for drinks so I have to keep in mind that walnut color when pulling a rug and a coffee table to really complement that so I literally just typed in natural woven rug Rug. You cannot go wrong. You find ones that are like super inexpensive. Like this one's really cute. This one's lighter. I don't want it too light because I don't want it competing with the cushion cover. I really like this one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with this. I like this. I think this is gonna look good. Okay. So I'm literally just typing in Google coffee table. I like this round black one. Oh, this is cool. That's really, really cool. I don't think it'll go with the vibe at all, but I just think that's really cool. I like this one. I feel like that could look really nice. Oh, what's this? Okay, that was easy. Boom. This one. I this I love this. Like, I don't even think this is going to look good with this, actually. Yeah, I like the coffee table. I don't know if I'm liking this. And that's okay. I still want to keep going just to, like, see it through and finish it. Actually, I think I might do this one. Oh, I like this. Oh my gosh, I love that actually. Don't know if I'm feeling the rug now, but this is why we do that. Okay, so next up, I wanna add a tree in there just to like really make it feel like it's coming together. So I'm gonna look up faux trees. Everybody gets an olive tree. Everybody gets a fiddly fig. I have them in my home as well, but let's try to do something a little bit different. You might be thinking, why are you adding in a tree? Why don't you finish off with the furniture? I just like to see this space start to come to life. And then, I don't know, I just like 
like that. It makes it easier for me. And I get excited. I'm like, oh, this is starting to really look like a room and it's starting to feel complete. So that's really the only reason. Oh, this is starting to look good. You guys, I was worried. I thought this video was gonna be like a flop. I really like how this is looking. Okay, yay, I'm excited. See, this is why I add the tree in there. Okay, so next up, I kind of want to do some wall art before we do any extra seating in the front. Abstract art. You guys, I literally had a moment. I paused the camera and I was like, this is not looking good. This is not turning out right. I'm not feeling this. Oh my gosh, there's so many good options. I really like this one here. This one's really cool too. I've seen this a lot. This has popped up so many times. I don't know what this is. I think it's like pork, like bulls or cows here. Oh, the herd print. <laughs> yep, I was right. It's a herd. Okay, I like this though. Okay, so another thing you might be looking at these prices and thinking like, girl, are you out of your mind? You can obviously like look up dupes, find things in your price range and have fun with it. The process is still the same. I think this looks good here. I think it looks really, really nice. So obviously when I'm doing this for clients, like I would measure the size and keep it relative with the couch and everything, but I just wanted to place it there. I think this looks really cool. Fun, neutral, accent chair because everything so far in the room is really playing it safe. I think I want to go with a chair that has a unique shape. I really like a shape like this, something different, kind of out of the box, like a different shape. I almost even like this too. Let's see, it comes in different colors. I really like this chair, the dark green. I think that's really, really cool. I kind of love this. Oh my gosh, you guys, am I incorporating color? I kind of love this. I like how it's dark and it kind of plays with the olive undertone in the coffee table legs. It also really complements the wall art. I'm having second thoughts about the rug. I want to change this rug. Actually, yeah, I'm not feeling this rug. Okay, let's go back to the natural woven rugs that we were looking at and see if we can find something a little bit lighter. Okay, wow, I like that so much better than that other rug. Okay, cool, cool. So what I could do is I could get two of these chairs. Let me duplicate this. So I could get two of these chairs and put it on either side. I love this. I think this looks so cool. And then I want to add some other elements. So like I said, I want to add a floor lamp. So I'm actually going to add this. I can't find the lamp right now. I'm going to continue looking, but I found this and I feel like it kind of fits the vibe. Maybe if we put it like here, maybe I'm just going to keep that there because I'm in the process of still looking for that lamp and I don't want to lose my place. Um, I'm going to link the Amazon one. I don't know why I'm having trouble finding it, but so I'm just going to add this in here. I think this is going to look really, really nice next to the couch. I feel like this really complements the olive in the chairs as well. That looks nice. I like that. Okay. So now I don't like this there because of the height of the lamp. There's something weird about this thing now. So I'm going to move this just off to the side. I kind of just want like a, I picture just like a bowl right there. So I'm just going to look up bowl, <laughs> decorative bowl. And oh, that's fun with the dots. That's different. Kind of like just like this wooden one. I actually really like that. That's really cool. It's different. Sometimes it's fun to just get things that are just like kind of fun and quirky and a little bit like, oh, that's different in this space just to really make it your own. And if you have any like family, I don't know, just like heirlooms, like this would be a time where if you traveled somewhere and bought something during your travels, you could add that little decorative piece in there to make your home really feel like you. I love this little bowl. This little bowl is so cute. I wanna try something else. That is cute though. I do like that little bowl, but I wanna try something else. I know it's a fruit bowl, but you do what you wanna do. Cause I like the marbling on this and I think it would look really, really cool on the coffee table. This clashes too much with the artwork in my opinion. I actually don't like this at all. I, mean, I like it. If we had different artwork, it could work. But I think because we don't, I'm gonna stick with just the plain white. I love this room. I'm so excited. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to add is a media console for in front of the couch. So, I mean, and I could always add, maybe should I add like a bookcase here? Something a little bit different, just in case you wanted like an idea. Okay, let's do that. Let's do a bookcase. I kind of like that. I feel like that would look nice in this space. So let's say you had like a blank wall on one of the sides. You could just put this and add like some decorative accents in there. And I think that would look 
really, really, really good. So I think this would look nice. I'm adding this here, but I'm kind of thinking even if it were next to the couch on the other side of it, if there's kind of like a blank wall there. So I'm gonna add this in the design, but just picture it kind of like off to the side, like on one of those blank walls. I think that would look really, really good. So let me actually find, let me find a media um, console or like a credenza. If I can find something that can go with this, that way we have like all the furniture pieces. I actually really like this, this is cute. I like that because it has the same wood as the coffee table. Wow, I love this room. So I'm just gonna put the credenza here because I'm not using my software. I can't like actually do like a 3D type rendering. Wow, I love this. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is I wanna add a light fixture. That's cool. I like this. That's cool, that's different. Let me see what it looks like in a room. I kinda like this. I don't know if it's living room vibes. I mean, it could be. Oh, I like this, that's cute. I feel like it's a little narrow though to take up a whole living room. I like this. It's like moody. This is this is turning out to be more of like a moody room. I actually really like it. I love the green chairs. I think this is really, really cute. And I think this is the completed room, but I really, really like it. I was not expecting to go this direction, but sometimes when you just like start off and you just like pull things, this is what you end up with. I will say that the green chairs surprised me and I'm sure if you watch me, then the green chairs probably surprised you too because I would normally not gravitate towards that, but I feel like because the tone is very olive, it's very dark, it just kind of complements the space. I love the couch, I love the artwork, I love the light fixture, the coffee table, like all of that complements the room. It all looks very cohesive, the tree in the corner. I really like this, I'm proud of this room. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope this was helpful. Again, you can use PicMonkey. You you can set your price range to whatever fits you, but this is just how I do it. This is how I work. This is how I get the room complete and I'm happy with it. I'm really proud. So if this video was helpful for you, let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing a series like this, because like I said, it's like playing dress up. I could do this all day. Let me know like what room I should do next. Maybe I could even start doing like one of your rooms and like designing your room in a video. That would be a lot of fun as well. So yeah, you guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll link all of these products down below. I'm actually gonna make a like to know it with everything shoppable in this room. So yeah, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, me and my new living room, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.